Hi everybody, my name is Annie Jacobs Perkins and I'm a cellist living in Boston. Today I'm going to play some of my very favorite pieces for you and we're going to learn about my instrument together. This is my friend Feng Niu, who is a superhero pianist and one of my very favorite chamber music partners. She's going to help me introduce you to this music. I'm actually going to play two cellos for you today. This is what they look like. If we were in a real non-virtual classroom setting, I would ask you what differences you see in the two cellos, if any. Most cellos or celli have four strings, like these two. The one on my right is my Baroque cello, and is modeled after the first cellos that were ever played. This instrument has gut strings, which are exactly what they sound like. The strings were traditionally made from dried and wrapped sheep intestines, I know it's a little gross, and later were wrapped in metal. These strings make the instrument sound like the human voice, sometimes raspy or crackly like when you first get out of bed in the morning. The cello on my left is my modern cello, which really is very similar. Cellos haven't changed much in the past 400 years, and many modern cellists play on instruments that are hundreds and hundreds of years old. My modern cello is only 85 years old. It was made in 1936 in Milan, Italy, and I use steel strings on this cello, which makes a sound that is sweet and clear, and at the same time really powerful. With my modern cello, I use this stick called an end pin to help me hold the cello in place. When I play my Baroque cello, I use only my knees to do the same thing. I had to put my sweater on because it's way too cold out here today just for a shirt. Uh, next, I'm going to show you the two different bows that I'll be using today. This one, thanks Fung, is my Baroque bow, which is just like the bows that people used in the 17th century. If you're familiar with the sport archery, where you shoot arrows from a bow onto a target, instrument bows were actually named after those bows. And if you use your imagination, I'm sure you can see that there are similarities in the shape between my Baroque bow and an archery bow. The shape of my modern bow, which is this one, helps me sing on long notes, while the shape of my Baroque bow helps me imitate speech. The first piece Fung and I are going to play for you was written in 1948 in New York City by a composer named Elliot Carter. He was really inspired by jazz, which you can totally hear in this kind of wonky, upbeat second movement from his sonata for cello and piano. See if you can hear us imitating jazz bassists and saxophonists, and obviously Fung imitates a jazz pianist. It should sound like we're having a conversation with each other.